In this video, we're going to be using Shannon Soap Silk Pajamas and the Carbon CX316 Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Shannon Soap's Silk Pajamas. And this was kindly sent to me by Steve. Thank you, Steve. This has a really nice scent on it. And to me, it's sort of barbershoppy. We'll put the notes for you um, right there. Sweet, warm, uh, tobacco blossom, citrus, rose. I don't really notice the rose that much or it's well blended. It's a really nice scent. Scent strength for me is right at medium. The cost on this is $15.95 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that's $3.98 an ounce, which is a uh, good cost. We'll show you the ingredients right here. This is in the goat's milk formula by Shan Shannon's, which is a really nice quality soap. It is one of my favorite brands. I love using Shannon's. It always yields a great lather, good quality stuff, good price. I appreciate it all around. So pajamas is what we're using today. The razor today is the Carbon, and this one is the CX316L stainless steel. The plate on this is just the original plate, and I think Lord Shady, this might be his plate because he sent his back. It had a little pinhole in it. I got it secondhand. Um, for a discount and I love this razor even with that long handle it's absolutely terrific carbon terrific razor the blade today is Gillette Platinum which I also enjoy and today we're going to try with the Badger again so if the lather is substandard it's not because of Shannon's I, I can assure you it's uh it's me using this Badger that Steve sent this is the uh, Yachi or Yaki um, High Mountain they call it uh, and we're going to use our Captain's Choice bowl as you can see there, nice hydrated, super nice lather. Shannon Soaps makes lather very easily. It's one of those soaps that's very easy to work with. And here I'm just misting. And by the way, I'm asked all the time about links and where you can get this and that. It's always below. If the products are available, I will link them below for your convenience. And let's see how we do with this badger. Feels pretty soft. And nice, and boy, this is a good smelling soap. Now, Marion sent me, uh, Marion the Barbarian, sent me a sample of this a couple months ago, and I, I don't know, I misplaced it somewhere. Never got around to it. So when I was telling him about this soap yesterday, he was like, hey, I sent you a sample of that several months ago, and I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> Sometimes I misplace things. You know, what are you going to do? Getting old, I guess. It's nice outside. Last night, I think, was the first night that the heat didn't come on during the night because it's still been getting pretty cool, cool at night but not so last night woke up this morning and the house was at a nice 70 degrees without the heat being on which is nice it's supposed to be about uh, 75 today I think outside which is about 23.8 celsius I wrote that down <laughs> so it'll be a nice temperature it's good to get outside I am feeling a little bit of um, scritch on this. Uh, Steve told me he felt a little bit of scritch on this knot, which I also feel. Let's set that aside. No problems with the lather. Plenty good enough. Shannon's, again, for me, one of the best soaps out there. Definitely underrated. I've used it for years. Love it. It's one of the top offerings. And especially if you consider the price, it is very hard to beat. Okay, let's get going with our carbon. And man, that carbon just always feels nice. I love using this razor. And I've only used it a few times. Uh, Nate from BBS Live lent me his um, some months back. And it was absolutely awesome. By the way, BBS Live is on Instagram tonight. So check that out. I think it's nine central time or eight central, I don't know. But anyway, check it out on Instagram. I'm sure they'll, they'll do plenty of promos for it. I think it's maybe nine Eastern, eight central, not 100% sure. So if I'm wrong, I apologize. And man, this razor just super, super smooth and nice. I really enjoy it. And by the way, we do have that spot on our neck. And so if we Clip that, we're not gonna worry about it, it's no big deal. Doesn't belong there anyway. So if we open her up, I'm not the least bit concerned about it. 
And do not be discouraged if you get a few nicks or weepers every once in a while. Now, if you get them every single shave, you might have to revisit something because you shouldn't be getting nicks and weepers every single shave. If you are, you're going probably either too hard, using too much pressure, making too many strokes. So definitely revisit, but if you get the occasional weeper, it's, it is nothing at all to worry about or even a, a nick. You know, those things do happen, so don't let it discourage you. If you're new, and I know there are a lot of new people watching, this carbon is in the realm of uh, premium razors. Very well made. Um, I love that handle. <laughs> I know some people don't, but I really do. It's, it's really outstanding in my view. And so that was an excellent first pass. That Gillette Platinum Blade is, is tremendous. And the Shannon's here is outstanding also. Um, again, using this Badger here, so... You know, I'm not great with Badgers because I haven't used them regularly for years, but the Shannon soap always hits the spot. It's a very good quality soap. Never any problems with it. Lathering, easy to lather. And again, I've been emphasizing that ease of use is something that's nice where you can just come in here and sort of make a lather and go with it. And if I was using a, a uh, synthetic, this would be a lot easier for me to work with and, and get distributed evenly. But, you know, I figured I'll, I have these badgers. I might as well give them a go. I really love that Savile Row 3328. That one is magic. The 24, I don't like as much. It's set a little low. And this one, I can definitely feel a little bit of scritch in the tips, despite it being called High Mountain, which is was generally thought to be softer, I think, if I'm wrong. Please correct me on that. But this will be plenty, plenty good enough. You see that peak there sort of falling over? <laughs> plenty of hydration in there, and that is key. So no matter how the lather looks, if you got that hydration in there and it's slick, you're going to be okay. You will be okay. All right, let's cut that back again a little bit. Wipe off our shirt just a little and get going with our second pass with the carbon. I really like the way this handle tapers. Um, if it were this length without that tapering, I don't think I would like it. But since it does taper, I really enjoy it. Very nice indeed. And this blade feels just magnificent from my perspective. It's one of my favorite blades. I don't use them a ton but it is a great blade. Very nice. You see the water from the razor there mixing with the lather and causing it to run a little bit, but that's okay. That is super slick. And really for me, slickness is what it's all about. As long as you have that slickness, you're gonna be okay. I wanna say thank you, by the way, to our latest uh, Patreon supporter, Mikhail. Thank you very much, Mikhail. I appreciate you. I appreciate all you supporters and viewers. It's always a pleasure to do these videos. I really like doing them. Otherwise, I wouldn't do as many. <laughs> Get up in the morning and have a great shave and just share it with other people, hoping that somebody will happen along this video and go, hey, what's all this stuff about, you know? And so every now and then, someone new comes along and goes, hey, I started this because of your video and I'm like, you know, that's awesome. Because if you can change uh, this shaving thing from a chore to something enjoyable, that's really awesome. Because a lot of people, they're so busy these days that they don't have a lot of time uh, to luxuriate. And, uh, you know, if you can take that time to do so and just relax and enjoy it versus it being a chore and something you're just trying to get out of the way. That means a lot, I think, or at least it does for me. All right. Very nice. No complaints about this carbon. No buyer's remorse. I am completely happy with this razor. It is awesome. I am completely happy with this soap, and I don't know why that 
I never got the silk pajamas. To me, it's again sort of barber shoppy. Um, I don't know if I showed you the ingredients. If I did not, I'll put them on the screen for you now. But great ingredients in this stuff. I think I did, but sometimes I forget. I get to talking and don't hit all the marks on the things I intend to cover. When you know this this brush here is funny. When you splay it like this, I don't feel any scratch. But when I'm painting, sometimes I'll feel uh, something a little pokey. Oh, scritchy is the term. It's kind of been an invented term for shaving to mean a little scratchy. Um, but when you play this brush, it does, does, I don't get any of that pokiness. But sometimes every now and then when painting, you'll get a little bit of something a little pokey. But otherwise, pretty nice. Um, again, I'll link the products below. If you're interested, but I do want to mention, I am not trying to sell you anything ever. I'm just using these products and linking them below. And if you decide you want them, great. If you decide you won't or don't, no problem. Um, but I am not asking you to buy anything. I want to make that clear. Now, if you use the links in the affiliate section, it does help out the channel. So we appreciate that, but never asking you to buy anything. And if I do, I'll make that very clear. Like, hey, you know. I would like you to buy this to support the channel, uh, but I'm not selling anything. So I'm just using these products, trying to enjoy them to the max and hoping that you will enjoy them as well. I do appreciate when you support these artisans because it, you know, helps the community grow, helps them innovate. But ultimately, you buy what you like. There's never any pressure for sales here um, because I'm not in the business of selling you know, products. Um, but I will say there are artisans like Shannon's here that I have used for years and I don't think they get the following that they deserve. So when I see people trying them and go, oh, I never tried Shannon's, you know, and then I saw you using them and I love them. They're great. And then that certainly makes me happy when uh, some of these artisans get the attention that they deserve, especially the ones that don't get the attention. Because everybody knows PAA gets attention, Barrister Man gets attention, Shaving Shop Club, A&E gets a lot of attention. You know, Declaration and so on gets lots of attention. But these artisans like Shannon's don't quite get that attention. And for me, they're every bit as good and cheaper for the most part than the ones I mentioned. Uh, not in all cases, but in a lot of cases. They do have different formulas. For me, this goat's milk formula is excellent, but their base formula is excellent too. Very nice. Plenty of good slickness there. No problems whatsoever. The brush today was actually, I'd say not bad. Definitely better than the go I had yesterday with the Savile Row. Now keep in mind, I used a lot of Badger brushes uh, back in 2012, 2013, 2014, and then we started using synthetics a lot, and honestly, um, we never look back. Because synthetics just, they make lather, it, if you're accustomed to using them, they make lather easier, and generally speaking, they transfer the lather easy to your face so that lather tends not to get stuck in the brush. If you're not used to using badger or bore, and you've been using synthetics all along, there is a learning curve there, so don't be discouraged. And, and even me, somebody who used Badger um, tons years ago, I haven't used them regularly for probably five years, I'd say. Um, and so if you're not used to using them and you, uh, you're you on a steady diet of synthetic brushes, there's, some, there's a learning curve there. And while you can still, you know, make a lather with them and all that, it's different in the way that the brushes hold the lather and release it. Uh, it just feels completely different. And so you, you have to work at it. And so I'm just uh, sort of getting my sea legs when it comes to Badger. But for whatever reason, that 3328 Sour Row just does a phenomenal job. The 30, uh, excuse me, 3328. The 3824, not I didn't I didn't really care for that one. 
Um, I'm going to try it a few more times and um, if I find myself continually not taking to it, I'll probably trade it or sell it. Uh, but this one today, this is the Yachi um, High Mountain, it's called. Um, not bad. I would say I like this knot here better than the Savile, third, the one in the 3824 that I tried yesterday. But that one could be just set short. I think that's what it is, and Stallion said that as well. All right, this was an excellent shave. Let me rinse. We'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back in off camp. We did a warm water rinse. We followed that with the alum, no stinging whatsoever. This is the PAA alum. Um, following the alum, we did a cold water rinse. And then we applied our Thayer's Cucumber Magic because it's made by witches. Very nice stuff. I really enjoyed the shave today. The Carbon 3X, 3, CX <laughs> 316L, worth every penny for me. I love this razor. It feels nimble despite having that long handle. The head is kind of, um, it's not very tall from top to bottom. It's not bulky. It's not cumbersome. I absolutely love this razor and the Gillette Platinum in this razor was excellent. This is the favorite raz razor of Nate and Melly Mel from BBS Live. And I can understand why it's absolutely terrific. I love it. No buyer's remorse. The Shannon Soaps Silk Pajamas sent to me by Steve. Terrific. If you haven't tried Shannon's, I encourage you to do so. Good quality soap, great price, absolutely love it. Thank you, Steve. We use the Yachi, or some people call it Yaki. Um, this is the 24 High Mountain, um, not Badger. Uh, it wasn't bad. I will, I will try this again and see how I take to it. Slightly pokey, but overall, not too bad. Of course, we had our Captain's Choice Bowl, and we shall finish off today with the um, Silk Pajamas which was also sent by Steve. So Steve sent the silk pajamas, the yaki, and the silk pajamas aftershave again. Thank you, Steve. And let's slap some of this on and we're gonna be off to the races and having a great day. And I hope wherever you are, you have a terrific day as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.